Hi, this is Regina McCann Hess, president of Forge Wealth Management. And with our Women in Wealth series, we have a new guest. Uh, Colleen, can you tell us who you are, what you do, and what you love about what you do? Uh, my name is Colleen Morden. I am vice president of internal audit at Curate Inc. Uh, Curate is a company that owns QVC, HSN, Zulily, Cornerstone Brands. And what do I love about what I do? Well, I love the company, which is very important. Uh, you can do a lot at a lot of places, but picking the right company that works for you is important. Um, the company is very um, progressive in thinking. It's retail. What woman doesn't love retail? I hate to go to gender norms, but love retail. And uh, it's a wonderful company from a leadership perspective. It's very, um, uh, I would say inclusive and uh, forward thinking from a leadership perspective as well. Oh, from that's an great. audit perspective, what's not to love about audit? You get, you get a lot of information uh, sort of under the radar and uh, really see what is ticking in the company. Very cool, very cool. And um, so being in retail, would that be an industry that has, is it more female dominated or, or male dominated? I would say from a um, customer facing perspective, so merchandising and planning, generally retail has more females in, in those areas. Mm -hmm. um, not necessarily at the executive level, but at the um, entry level and, and the junior or junior level. Mm -hmm. um, and some of the shared service areas are, are more, um, I would say what you would expect in any company. So human resources or finance or legal reflects more of a typical environment. But I would say mm -hmm. merchandising and planning that front end has uh, more mm -hmm. females. And have you, what have you seen uh, as a challenge being a f female or a woman in, in your industry or as a professional woman in general? Mm -hmm. So my um, background is finance. So um, accounting, FP&A, and then internal audit. I've actually only been in internal audit for the last three plus years of my career. So um, I would say from a finance perspective, the, I guess the decisions that people make, I would say earlier on in my career, I felt like more women made a conscious decision not to pursue um, upward mobility. I don't believe that it had anything to do with uh, capabilities. It was more a capacity scenario. Mm -hmm. So I worked in public accounting to start and um, many women just chose that they had what it took, but they didn't want to do that. They didn't feel like they could be their best self, whether it be mother, sister, daughter, wife. Um, and they made more conscious decisions to um, perhaps just have a more steady incline in, in their career and possibly even stepping back a little bit. So from a finance perspective, I do think that that still carries forward often. Um, it's probably true in many industries, but finance is, uh, oftentimes there's like your calendar based mm -hmm. and there are certain times of the, that calendar that are just intense. And then uh, finance has, it's the keeper of information, information, is then um, needed at all points in time and, and in different um, intensities, I suppose. So it's unpredictable, a little more unpredictable perhaps than some other industries. Um, so that often makes it more difficult to balance um, being a woman or being a professional in that area. Yeah, and then so that kind of leads me into my next conversation about balancing family, work, career, mm -hmm. Uh, and especially now that we're in this pandemic, it, it's been harder, I think, for a lot of people to do that. Absolutely. And I think um, as your children grow, it's not as if your life stays the same. So mm -hmm. we're going through different stages, again, as a wife, a mother, certainly a daughter, I think. Balancing family includes oftentimes caring for a parent um, and um, uh, just spending time with your parents. And I find it to be 
it's important to, to try to keep genuine relationships in your life as well, not just be so insular to just your immediate family, even just your extended family as parent as your parents need you more, but really trying to keep extended relationships and mm -hmm. um, keep up, make decisions of who, who you want to spend time with is actually very important, making those hard decisions, but then sticking with them because, you know, your parents, or I'm sorry, your children will have a life of their own at some point. And I don't know, I don't want to look at my husband and say, why did we do this again? Like <laughs> you, me. So uh, we're, I'll be married for 25 years uh, this year and that's going to be forever. So we've got to keep yeah, up cheers, with Yeah, cheers, man. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Very good. Yeah. And it is true with, um, you know, especially women our age and, and men in our age group, we have our own families, but we're also, you know, looking up at our parents' generation and knowing that, you know, we're taking care of them at some point and in some way as well. And it's just another added uh, thing that we have to en envelope into our day uh, yes. and, you know, just go with that, which is great though. I mean, taking care of our family is the most important thing. And I love what you said about, um, you know, nurturing other relationships, you know, because I always worry about that too. You know, the kids eventually, they're going to leave and, you mm -hmm. know, husband were like, you know, okay, do we, who are we, you know, do we still have friends, you know, things like that. So yeah, that's, you have to work at it. You have to work at your relationship and, and also your friendships outside of that too, I think are, are great things to. Absolutely. Nurture. So with the, um, you know, everything that we're going through, you know, everyone's feeling anxiety of some level. Um, you know, the fear of the unknown. Um, what would you say, as even with your finance background, what would you say would be the thing that you worry about or what you need to plan for coming out of a pandemic and going for your future? So from a, a planning perspective, um, from a financial perspective, I, sort of my sights are set on college education for my children and retirement at a decent age and again my my income has always been a balance of salary as well as uh equity mm -hmm. i work for a public company mm -hmm. so as we are looking at sort of income flow and what we're planning for uh retail is pretty volatile at the moment given our, um, our exact circumstances. So Curate is uh, a, a dot com for, for certain, and it's, a, it's um, an internet company as well. So we have, do not have a lot of bricks and mortar. So we haven't been impacted in the moment the way other companies may have been impacted. We just had our uh, earnings release yesterday. So our investor call, so public information. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> it's all public. And um, so, but again, I, I really value financial discipline and our leadership is very disciplined and we are looking ahead. We are looking at the horizon and what that could mean coming out of it. Mm -hmm. So just from a, a personal perspective, it's, it's very similar. Like my, my income is tied to the, the health of my company. And so keeping very close to the health of your company, I think is important as you're making your plans, whether they be financial or career, of course. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You, you can't just love your company every day and just go because it's a fun place to be. You really have to be connected to the health of your company and the decisions that they're making. And um, I feel that our company is on the right track in, in both of those things. The decisions we're making, the uh, culture is incredible. We're, we're donating a lot of money as well and we're keeping a balanced approach with the success that we're having in this moment and that's really what i, I feel like i i live my financial life keep a balanced approach um and you know, kind of put things in the bank as yeah. uh for for deposits for you know that that rainy day yeah so. that's a great way to say it deposits you know for the rainy day that's one mm -hmm. good, good plan good outlook good outlook well, thank you for joining me. This is a lot of fun um, you know, today. Um, I'm going to thank everyone else for joining our Women in Wealth series. And if you want to find out more about uh, Forge Wealth, follow us at, on Facebook and Twitter at Forge Wealth. And on LinkedIn, you can follow me at Regina McKeon Hess.
And of course, our website is forgewealth.com. Thanks for having us, and we'll see you the next week.